I'm going to be talking about the top 10 ways to bring romance back into your relationship. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kofo GT. The first thing is show some delight when you see the person. Mm. So, okay, I like this idea because it's so simple and it's something you can do without zero money. All you need to do is when you see the person, you have to look happy. You have to feel happy inside and don't just fake it. You should already be happy to see your loved ones when you see them. It should bring joy to you. So it's not something you even have to stress. Just show them that you actually do love them and you still care about them. Thing number two is to mark milestones. Oh, okay, so we, this person says here, had a good day. Does your spouse have something to celebrate? Do something to mark the occasion. Go out to dinner. Keep a bottle of bubbles in the refrigerator. And by bubbles, we mean wine or if you drink beer or anything. You could also be non-alcoholic wine. Just do something to mark their milestones. Like they're happy about something, celebrate with them. Be happy for them. Don't just be bitter. If something's not happening in your life, what's happening for them, you have to be happy for them. Don't feel jealous because that's just toxic. Number three. Number three compliment them are you fighting them like seriously it it doesn't take money to give them a compliment oh your wife just got a new hairstyle i love your haircut it looks so beautiful her nails just got done oh darling those nails are beautiful she just bought a new dress wow you look amazing just like the day i met you i keep falling in love again and again with you or if it's your husband darling you look so handsome today next one you can also tell him wow sweetheart i really love the fact that you're here i can't imagine my life without you you just tell him stuff that'll make him happy guys also deserve compliments guys also like compliments i don't know who wrote the book to say that guys do not deserve or like compliments they should be taken to court men e deserve equal rights and equal compliments <laughs> not just him always saying wow you look beautiful and you're like slay and he's like oh i love your hair and you're like Slay, and he's like, Oh, that wow, that dress looks amazing. You're like, Slay, and then you see him, and then you're like, Uh, thanks for the compliment, and that's all. And then you see him, he gives you maybe he buys you a gift, you're like, Oh, thanks, or you just don't show appreciation for him. You have to, he is a king, you are a queen, and a king and queen must also like respect each other. Like, I understand the slay girl motive, but also remember, he is also a king, and you are also a queen, so y'all better respect each other before I slap you up the head. Or, oh, reason four keep going on dates have you ever dated somebody and you've dated them for such a long time you feel i no longer need to try with this person i no longer need to go on dates with this person honey you need to keep going on dates with that person that person fell in love with you doesn't mean that you have to start treating them like they no longer matter because they're dating you just because you've won them over doesn't mean you have to stop trying you know there are a million and one people who keep trying to get in between the two of you and the dates actually help you remember that why you guys fell in love and why you guys love each other. So stop, why you stop going on dates when you can keep dating and keep falling in love every day more and more. Okay, handwritten notes and surprise gifts. Handwritten notes and surprise gifts. I think I commented and gave your own story for step five. So the person said handwritten notes and surprise gifts. I was recently on a work trip on the other side of the world. I knew my wife and son were going to miss me a lot, so before I left, I hid a couple of notes and gifts, one for each day I would be gone, all around the house. While on the trip, I would send my wife a text and tell her to go to the bottom of my son's closet or go to the pantry, and then she'd find a note or a love message from me to her. And this just helped strengthen our relationship. Honestly, if a guy does this, ah! Oh! Like, I'm already in love. I'm already in love. Sis, if you have a guy like that, hold on tight. Because if I find out, girl, I'm gonna not steal your man because anybody that can be stolen is a cheater. But I'm gonna be so jealous, girl. So please, if you are like this, if you are this romantic and this sweet, comment. If you are this romantic, DM me, boy. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm just joking, but I'm shooting my shot anyway. Oh, ho, ho. 
step six. Step six. Being there for each other. Okay, so your girlfriend, your boyfriend had a nasty day at work and you're just like, oh, sorry about that. And then you get back to your phone and then you're checking on Snapchat, you're checking on Google. You're like, oh God. You are showing no care for their day. Like literally that's like, uh, why, why are you dating this person if you don't care? Why are you dating this person if you don't intend to share your problems with them? And people will close up their problems without telling them, why are you hiding it? You're meant to be with this person because you want to spend the rest of your life with them. You can't be pretending. If something hurts you, talk to them. They are now your best friend. They're not just your girlfriend, your boyfriend. They're your best friend. I know you can say you have a best friend, but they are your best friend. Get it through your head. You should be able to talk to them. If you're going through any issue, tell them straight up, I'm having an issue with this. I'm not dealing with it well. I was dating a that guy and he used to have issues with depression. And he'd tell me, Kofo, I'm not doing well mentally today. I'm not doing well at all. I feel depressed. I feel tired. I have bad thoughts right now. And then I would try to sit down and we'd watch a movie together. And I'd tell him I love him all the time because I know how it must be hurting him. And he's sharing it with me. Be there for your spouse, queens, not just the kings. Doesn't mean that because he's a guy, he's not going through stuff. Try and be there. You know he's in a bad mood. You know he's sad. Something happened. He's not ready to talk about it because some guys are like that. Do something special for him. Run a bubble bath for him. Get his favorite beer. Cook his favorite food. Do something that would inspire him and make him happy. Now, I'm not saying there's only women that cook, but you know because all these feminists are about to come down in my comments and fire me but you should be able to cook for your man and he can cook for you as well I don't see a big deal in c- cooking for my man if I love him I'm gonna cook for him I want him to enjoy my food and that's the truth so I don't I'm not really here to discuss anything but this is just my personal opinion period number seven exercise together i know a lot of you be like exercise are you crazy girl are you mad but let me just read this up to you here and now mm-hmm. exercise together it boosts your endomorphine secretotin and overall mood and the boost can be important during time spent with your partner because it makes you when you're happy when you exercise you release a lot of good emotions and good chemicals in your body and it makes you just fall in love with your partner even more because you're associating them with those good emotions, with those good feelings, with those good chemicals. Your b- memory is associating this person, spending time with this person makes you feel good. So it's always a good idea. Try new things together, which is number eight. New exper- experiences stick in our mind. New experiences. Like the first time I tried eating egg with milk sugar milo coffee chocolate don't judge me i fried an egg and i was five years old i can't i can no longer eat egg i can't even stand the smell because of what i did so i added all these stuff to it and i was like you know what i'm gonna fry my mom told me don't fry that egg i'm like i'm gonna fry you there's nothing you're gonna do to me and she was like okay you're gonna finish that egg if you're gonna fry it and i'm like i'm gonna finish it mama there's nothing you can say to stop me so i fried the egg and i took one bite i was like i don't like this mama i don't want to eat it no more and she said you better finish that food child or i'm gonna whoop your butt and i was like and I ate that food I ate everything because my mom made me and now I can't even stand the smell of egg the smell alone makes me want to throw up so uh, I always have that memory in my head so when you try new things with each other you always keep the memory in your head whenever you try something new whether you like it or you don't like it you have a memory with that person you can never forget okay let's go to the next one never stop saying I love you number nine number nine never stop saying I love you now uh, guys I understand that when you get comfortable with somebody you don't like to say it as much anymore but like to women words really matter to us your words matter that's why words hurt us a lot so when you stop saying you love us just because you've been with us for a couple of months years it kind of hurts we want to hear you say it 
We want to know that we're the most important person in your life. We want to hear it, not just to assure ourselves, but because it means the whole world to us. Like every time my boyfriend ever said, I love you, my heart just went. <laughs> and I'm not joking with you. Like if he just says, I love you, even if I'm having the worst day in my life, and he just says, I love you, and it's going to be okay. And then he just runs his hand through my fake hair because I'm black. I don't have this kind of hair in real life. Uh, my heart just goes beating. And then I just realize I love this person as well. And I suddenly feel like everything else doesn't matter. So, <laughs> yeah, that actually matters a lot. Step 10, ah, this one's for you people who like sports, your man likes sports, he's alone in the house most times, you always complain, ah, he's always going out with the boys, sis, if he likes sports, you like sports too, you don't have to like it really, just sit down with him as he's watching it, lay, his, lay your head on his lap, just relax with him, lay, lean your head on his shoulder, just hold him, let him spend time with the two things he loves the most, which should be sports or gaming or anything. If it's gaming, to be honest, don't distract him. But just stay there and watch him game. Say woohoo when he wins a point. Or whoa, you can do it, baby. And if he's getting angry, he's failing a mission, you can be like, babe, you can do this. I believe in you. You know, this is a good way to show you love him. And it's staying in the back of his head that, whoa, this is a right or that chick. Like, that's for free, girl. That's a tip I use. And I get them to fall in love with me, girl. I'll watch your football. I don't care. I'll watch your soccer. I don't care. I'll watch your lacrosse. I don't care. I'll watch your golf. I don't care. I'll watch your NASCAR. I don't care. I'll watch anything you're watching, darling, because I love you. So if you're drinking beer there, I'm going to help you bring a bottle of beer and I'm going like, here you go darling, you're like, yeah, thank you sweetheart. And then your heart's beating, you're like, I love this girl. And obviously I love you, that's why I'm doing it. So obviously I need you to love me back, boy. Not that you should work for love, love should come naturally, but you know, there's things you can do to inspire love. And this is the final tip to you girls. Find out what your man likes and smells. I'm not saying that you should smell just for your man, but you know, there's some smells that turn people off. Like there was this guy I met, I liked him, I liked him over the phone, I saw his picture, I liked his face, but he smelled so bad, the body odour was terrible, and your girl does not like smelly people, like, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Donald Duck, but your face and your body was hot, your spirit was hot, your brain was big, but if you're smelling like it does being sad. If you smell like a dustbin, I don't want you. I'm sorry. I cannot manage it. <laughs> Smelling like a dustbin. I don't want it. I'm sorry. Smelling like a dust does. I'm sorry for that. But I just... Yeah, so your smell also matters. So uh, what I did was that uh, I used to... But when I'm buying, going perfumes from up shopping, I used to ask my boyfriend to go with me. I was like, which smell do you like? And then we'd pick one. And then he's like, oh, he really likes the smell. And girl, like, oh, if you like it, baby, oh, a chug a chug, a chug a chug. Let's say he says he likes this perfume. Well, a chug a chug a chug, a chug a chug a chug chug, a chug a chug chug, a chug a chug chug.